Definition of everyday life has gone through a drastic change in the 21st century. Stress, tension, work pressure, one or more of these words definitely feature in an average person's description of his everyday life. Our attempt is to bring succor to your everyday life by introducing you to an array of activities and knowledge that would give you strength both physical and mental to better face the myriad problems of urban 21st century lifestyle. So, so join, join us and, and let, let go. go. The Lecto series is proud to present its first and unique offering yoga. This yoga series has been created under the guidance of our esteemed Yogacharya, Mr. Avnish Tevari. Yogacharya Tevari has been practicing yoga and conducting research on its benefits for the past 40 years. He conducts numerous yoga training sessions throughout India. So let's join the ranks of his many followers and start our journey on the road to fitness and well-being with yoga. Discuss your exercise plans with your doctor or other health care provider before starting on these exercise regimens. The human heart is the most overworked part of the anatomy. It continues to work through all the abuse that we put it through as part of our daily lives. A cardiac patient alone can understand and relate to the near fatal consequences of your heart functioning erratically. The kind of abuse we inflict on our hearts throughout our lives takes its toll. Cholesterol, physical and mental stress, etc. All have a direct and detrimental effect on our hearts and the result, a slightly dysfunctional heart. As we all know, is life-threatening. To keep our hearts healthy and ensure a trouble-free, unrestricted long lifestyle, we need to maintain not just a strict and balanced diet, but also combine it with the right kind of exercise regimen. Several of the yoga asanas have a direct and truly a beneficial effect on your heart. Let's show you the way to a long and happy life, unfettered by heart problems. Your heart is an amazing organ. It continuously pumps oxygen and nutrient-rich blood throughout your body to sustain life. This fist-sized powerhouse beats expands and contracts 100,000 times per day, pumping five or six quarts of blood each minute, or about 2,000 gallons per day. The heart is made of muscle. The strong muscular walls contract, squeeze, pumping blood to the arteries. On the inside, the heart is a four-chambered, hollow organ. It is divided into the left and right side. The right and left sides of the heart are further divided into two top chambers, called the atria, which receive blood from the veins, and two bottom chambers, called ventricles, which pump blood into the arteries. The heart receives its own supply of blood from a network of arteries called the coronary arteries. Two major coronary arteries branch off from the aorta near the point where the aorta and the left ventricle meet. Right coronary artery, left main coronary artery. These arteries and their branches supply all parts of the heart muscle with blood. Coronary artery disease causes roughly 1.5 million heart attacks each year in the U.S. alone, and one-third of those suffering heart attacks die. Controllable risk factors include smoking, high LDL or bad cholesterol, uncontrolled hypertension or high blood pressure, physical inactivity, obesity, more than 20% over one's ideal body weight, uncontrolled diabetes, uncontrolled stress and anger. By making changes in your lifestyle, you can actually reduce your risk for heart disease. And as yoga helps regulate the blood flow inside your body and prevents formation of cholesterol, it decreases the risk of heart disease drastically. Sedentary lifestyles increase the chances of heart disease and related problems. Yoga keeps you active and fit, thus reducing the chances of heart ailments in your life. Bhujangasana, or the serpent position. 
Lie down on your stomach. Bring your hands palms down and place them next to your shoulders with your elbows tucked into your body and pressed down on the ground. Take a deep, slow breath and raise your body onto your elbows as slow as you can. Stretch your neck backwards and hold in this position. Come back to the first position, exhaling slowly. Raise your body this time all the way up, this time on your palms. Remember to breathe in slowly while doing so. The third part of this asana is performed by bending your legs at the knees and then raising your body up on your palms while inhaling. Hold this position for as long as possible. There is no compulsion for holding any yoga position for so many seconds or minutes. Care should be taken to not push yourself beyond your limits. As you practice yoga regularly, you will find your limits, stamina and fitness levels will rise. Pavan Muktasana. The Pavan Muktasana is performed by lying down on your back. Keep your hands close to your body. Raise your right leg and fold it inward at the knee. Hold your knee with your hands laced together. Raise your upper body while inhaling deeply. Try and touch your nose to your knee. Hold yourself in this position for as long as you can. Repeat the same steps with your left leg. Remember to inhale while raising your body and exhale when coming down. Raise both your legs and fold them inwards at the knees. Hold your feet with your hands laced together. Raise your upper body while inhaling deeply. Try and touch your nose to your knees. Hold yourself in this position for as long as you can. For the third part of this asana, raise your left leg, bending it at the knee, and hold your foot by lacing your hands below it. Now raise your body slowly while inhaling and touch your nose to the knee. Repeat the process with your right leg. This asana helps with your digestive system and strengthens and keeps your knee joints flexible. It also improves the flexibility of your spine and strengthens your back and neck muscles. Naukasana. Lie down on your stomach. Keep your chin up and spread your hands up straight out in front of you. Slowly raise your right hand and left leg off the ground and hold in this position. Repeat these steps with your left hand and right leg.
Now lift both your hands and legs together off the ground. Ashwasan Chaman. Lie down on your back. Spread your hands out on the ground perpendicular to your body. Raise your legs, bending them at the knees, and bring them close to your stomach. Twist your torso and place your legs on the ground on your left. At the same time, bend your face and neck towards your right. Raise your legs off the floor and twisting your torso in the other direction. Place your legs on the right while turning your neck to the left. The second part of this asana is performed by twisting your torso to the left and stretching your legs out straight on the ground. Try to touch your hands with your legs. Repeat the step in the other direction. Sarvangasana. Lie down on your back. Keep your hands on the ground next to your body, palms down. Raise your legs while taking a deep breath and keep them straight up. Raise your torso using your hands on your back as support. Stretch your legs up as straight as you can. Try and get yourself in as straight as position as possible. The objective is to put your weight on your shoulders with your hands providing support on your back. Lower your torso on the ground slowly while exhaling. The Sarvangasan increase the blood circulation to your brain and heart besides strengthening your shoulders, back, elbow joints, arms and neck. Ustasana. Sit down on your knees with your legs tucked in. Get up on your knees and stretching backwards hold your legs at the back of your ankles. Arch your body as much as you can. Take deep and fast breaths. This position stretches your abdominal muscles, making them stronger and strengthens your knee joints and thigh muscles. Continue to take deep breaths and hold in this position for as long as you can.
pranayam. Sit down cross-legged on the floor. Close your eyes and raise your right hand and place the elbow of your right hand on the palm of your left hand. Bring the first finger of your right hand and the thumb together. Hold your breath and close the nostril with your thumb. Exhale through your left nostril. Close your left nostril with the second and third fingers of your right hand and inhale deeply through the other. Bring the first finger of your right hand and the thumb together. Close your left nostril with the second and third fingers of your right hand and inhale deeply through the other. Hold your breath and close the other nostril with your thumb. Exhale through your left nostril. Repeat the steps for five minutes. Inhale through your left nostril, close both the nostrils and hold your breath as long as you can. Open your right nostril and exhale. Close both your nostrils. Open your right nostril and inhale long and deep. Close both the nostrils and hold. Open your left nostril and exhale. Repeat these steps for five minutes. Pranayama is the most vital and integral part of any yoga regimen as it calms your mind and the deep breathing cleanses your system and brings you health and vitality by regulating the vital life force in your body. Bastrika Panayam Sit in the lotus position and inhale deeply and exhale. Breathe in and out fast. Bastrika Panayam calms your mind and the deep breathing cleanses your system. Perform this asana for two minutes. Bhujangasana, or the serpent position, helps strengthen your back muscles and makes your spine stronger and keeps it flexible, besides strengthening your shoulders. Perform this asana ten times. Palan Muktasana is very good for the digestive system since it helps in curing most digestive problems and relieving abdominal gases. This asana is beneficial for your abs too. It also improves the flexibility of your spine and strengthens your back and neck muscles. This asana strengthens and keeps your knee joints flexible. Perform this asana 10 times. The Navkasana helps in quick weight reduction. It reduces back pain and strengthens your back muscles. 
The Navkasana also reduces cervical pain and keeps heart and kidney related problems away. Perform this asana five times. The Aswasanchalan strengthens the waistline and hip muscles and helps reduce body fat. It reduces back and cervical pain. Perform this asana five times. The Sarvangasana increases blood flow to the brain and the direct benefits of this are reduced stress, a feeling of rejuvenation, and increased memory power. The Sarvangasana adds glow to the skin, lends beauty to the face and tightness to the facial muscles. Perform this asana twice. The Ustasana increases the blood circulation to your brain. It also reduces cervical pain. This position stretches your abdominal muscles, making them stronger, and strengthens your knee joints and thigh muscles. Perform this asana twice. Pranayam is the most vital and integral part of any yoga regimen, as it calms your mind and the deep breathing cleanses your system, and brings you health and vitality by regulating the vital life force in your body. Perform pranayam for five minutes. Bhastrika pranayam calms your mind and the deep breathing cleanses your system. Perform this asana for two minutes. Bhujangasana, Palan Muktasana, Navkasana, Aswasanchalan, Sarvangasana, Ushtasana, Pranayam, Bhastrika Pranayam. Nutritional Management for the Heart The essential dietary guidelines to prevent heart problems are Eat four to five servings per day of fresh fruits and vegetables as they provide fiber and necessary vitamins and minerals which help in reducing cholesterol. Eat foods high in antioxidants, vitamin C and E. Nuts, wheat germ, garlic, fruits and vegetables are rich in them. A vegetarian regimen should be followed as all the vegetable origin foods are free from cholesterol. Foods to avoid. Commercial cheese, cheese spread, cream, butter, ghee, oil, lard, vanaspati, and margarine. Organ meats like liver, heart, kidney, and brain. Seafoods like shellfishes, oysters, lobsters, shrimps, crab, and prawns. Fatty meats like sausages, bacon, ham, salami, pork. Egg yolk and all preparations containing egg yolks like cake, pastries, desserts, puddings, and custards. Concentrated milk preparations. Avoid nuts and oil seeds like ground nuts, coconuts, walnut, cashew nut, almonds, and sesame seeds, etc. Use of saturated fats like butter, ghee, and others mentioned above are to be avoided as these fats increase the blood cholesterol. Instead, vegetable oils rich in polyunsaturated fatty acids, or PUFA, are to be used in limited amounts. The oils in decreasing order of PUFA contents. Safflower oil, sunflower oil, soybean oil, corn oil, rice bran oil, cottonseed oil, groundnut oil, palm oil, coconut oil. Use non-stick pans or Teflon coated vessels for cooking to reduce the amount of cooking oil. Fiber content of the diet should be increased as it helps to lower the cholesterol. It can be increased by the following ways. Use whole wheat flour instead of refined flour and bread. Avoid pasta, noodles, etc. Use dolls and pulses with their skin. Have plenty of fresh fruits instead of fruit juices. Eat whole fruit with the skin if possible, for example, apple, chiku, etc., and with the seeds if possible, like in guava, etc. Have plenty of raw vegetables, salads, and dark green leafy vegetables. To avoid flatulence, the intake of fiber should be increased gradually with the intake of sufficient fluids, at least 8 to 10 glasses of water per day.
Bhujangasana or the serpent position. Lie down on your stomach. Bring your hands palms down and place them next to your shoulders with your elbows tucked into your body and pressed down on the ground. Take a deep slow breath and raise your body onto your elbows as slow as you can. Stretch your neck backwards and hold in this position. Come back to the first position, exhaling slowly. Raise your body this time all the way up, this time on your palms. Remember to breathe in slowly while doing so. The third part of this asana is performed by bending your legs at the knees and then raising your body up on your palms while inhaling. Hold this position for as long as possible. Pavan Muktasana. The Pavan Muktasana is performed by lying down on your back. Raise your right leg and fold it inward at the knee. Hold your knee with your hands laced together. Raise your upper body while inhaling deeply. Try and touch your nose to your knee. Repeat the same steps with your left leg. Hold yourself in this position for as long as you can. Remember to inhale while raising your body and exhale when coming down. Raise both your legs and fold them inwards at the knees. Hold your feet with your hands laced together. Raise your upper body while inhaling deeply. Try and touch your nose to your knees. Hold yourself in this position for as long as you can. For the third part of this asana, raise your left leg, bending it at the knee, and hold your foot by lacing your hands below it. Now raise your body slowly while inhaling and touch your nose to the knee. Repeat the process with your right leg. This asana helps with your digestive system and strengthens and keeps your knee joints flexible. It also improves the flexibility of your spine and strengthens your back and neck muscles. Naukasana. Lie down on your stomach. Keep your chin up and spread your hands up straight out in front of you. Slowly raise your right hand and left leg off the ground and hold in this position. Repeat these steps with your left hand and right leg. Now lift both your hands and legs together off the ground. Ashwasan Chalan. Lie down on your back. Spread your hands out on the ground perpendicular to your body. Raise your legs, bending them at the knees, and bring them close to your stomach. Twist your torso and place your legs on the ground on your left. At the same time, bend your face and neck towards your right.
Raise your legs off the floor and twisting your torso in the other direction, place your legs on the right while turning your neck to the left. The second part of this asana is performed by twisting your torso to the left and stretching your legs out straight on the ground. Try to touch your hands with your legs. Repeat the step in the other direction. Sarvangasana. Lie down on your back. Keep your hands on the ground next to your body, palms down. Raise your legs while taking a deep breath and keep them straight up. Raise your torso using your hands on your back as support. Stretch your legs up as straight as you can. Try and get yourself in as straight a position as possible. The objective is to put your weight on your shoulders with your hands providing support on your back. Lower your torso on the ground slowly while exhaling. Ushtasana. Sit down on your knees with your legs tucked in. Get up on your knees and stretching backwards hold your legs at the back of your ankles. Arch your body as much as you can. Take deep and fast breaths. This position stretches your abdominal muscles making them stronger and strengthens your knee joints and thigh muscles. Continue to take deep breaths and hold in this position for as long as you can. Pranayam. Sit down cross-legged on the floor. Close your eyes and raise your right hand and place the elbow of your right hand on the palm of your left hand. Inhale through your left nostril. Close both the nostrils and hold your breath as long as you can. Open your right nostril and exhale. Close both your nostrils. Open your right nostril and inhale long and deep. Close both the nostrils and hold. Open your left nostril and exhale. Repeat these steps for five minutes. Pranayam is the most vital and integral part of any yoga regimen as it calms your mind and the deep breathing cleanses your system and brings you health and vitality by regulating the vital life force in your body. Bastrika Pranayam Sit in the lotus position and inhale deeply and exhale.
Breathe in and out fast. Bastrika Banayam calms your mind and the deep breathing cleanses your system. Bhujangasana, Palan Muktasana, Navkasana, Aswa Sanchalam, Sarvangasana, Ushtasana, Pranayam, Bhastrika Pranayam. Just as a kiss of love is a cure for heartaches, yoga can be the kiss of life for a healthy heart, as this module has aptly demonstrated. So don't wait, let yoga into your life, and keep heart ailments away.